Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Google Nexus 7 running Android 4.2, and this is the stock Android interface, but it can also run the Google Glass interface, and that's because uh, some of the applications from Google Glass have been ported to run on the Nexus 7 by a developer at Reddit, whose name I can't pronounce, but you can find the link in the description of this video and at uh, lilliputing.com. Anyways, let's take a quick look and see what some of the things are that you can do here. Okay, Glass, take a picture. So it's using the front-facing camera to do that. Okay, Glass, Google, what's the temperature in Philadelphia? It's 77 degrees in Philadelphia right now. Uh, the reason it's giving me a little bit of a British accent here is that it's using the built-in speech engine, and I have the Ivona Voice British English installed, so that's what it sounds like. And we keep getting kicked out of here. That wouldn't happen if I set it as my default, I suppose. Okay, Glass. What time is it? All oh, right, you actually have to ask it by name, so. Okay, Glass, Google, what time is it in San Francisco? The time in San Francisco, California is 8.20 a.m. So you can ask your questions, get certain answers, and you can even ask it for directions, but uh, you might not like the results. So in this case, let's take a look. Okay, Glass, get directions, library. So it's looking up directions to the local library. We can look, uh, get them in uh, the Maps Navigation or Google Glass Maps. But in this case, because I don't have a keyboard attached or an actual Google Glass device, when it says tap to continue, nothing happens. I can't actually tap. Uh, there are some applications that you might be able to use to sort of emulate a tap, but in this case, we're stuck. Okay, Glass, record a video. Now it says it's recording a video, uh, but it's a short video. You can't extend it because there's no option to press the button again. And in this situation, um, I found that the default app player here just, uh, or the default video player on the Nexus 7 isn't able to actually play that video. I'm not even entirely sure if it recorded a video because we didn't see any video. Uh, of course, the Nexus 7 has just a front-facing camera. There's no rear camera. Uh, if you want to go and look at those videos, you can always go into your uh, applications and what am I looking for? Yes, File Explorer. And you can find the uh, photos that you took. So it does shoot photos, it does look things up for you. Uh, it's not entirely functional, but if you want to play around with the Glass applications, if you want to sort of see what makes them tick, and if you want to enable some experimental labs type, uh, type features, those are available here as well. So that is a quick look at the uh, Google Glass apps running on a Nexus 7. This is Brad Linder at Lilliputing. Okay, Glass. Thanks. It doesn't know what to do with that.